you're not getting the minerals you will be um trying to get is really a scam. So everybody just hold on one second, man. Just hold on one second. I will have CMOS up in at least the next two, two to three weeks. I will have CMOS up. And um once I get my CMOS, I know y'all gonna go crazy for that. Y'all already going crazy for the sage, the incense, palo sticks, and the rosemary. So just stay tuned. CMOS gels are on the way. And it won't be the sea moss you had to boil. I already have it boiled in the gel to where you just had to take it. But yeah, man. Also, I got merch coming for um. I'm a I'm probably put the merch like the merch up on the um up on my website. I'm gonna put the merch there if y'all want to order like some jackets, some towels, some face masks. I don't never wear no damn face masks, but shit, I know y'all probably want to wear one. So. I got a mask with my album combo on it and my face on it and all that stuff, so. Can you say hi, Kennedy? Hi, Kennedy. Bro, I need everybody on this live, all 1,500 of y'all to go to NLE Health and Wellness right now and place y'all orders. Do not miss out, because everybody placing their orders right now. That's why I hopped on here and did that, man, because... Everybody loving, you hear me? Everybody loving the stuff, man. I just want everybody to be a part. No cap. You can get the, and everything is affordable too. I mean, you can get the the cheapest thing on there right now. I think it's like the Palo, Palo sticks, if I'm not mistaken. Just get you some Palo sticks. It's affordable. At the end of the day, I try to make it as affordable as I can with the, with the ordering that I'm doing because I'm getting it in bulk, so. Can you drop with Ah, y'all want me to drop music. Y'all don't want me to talk about the herbs, but I'm just letting y'all know. I'm going to talk about some music too, but I'm just letting y'all know, man. Y'all need some herbs. Y'all need incense, sage. That's another thing I'm doing because I just want to help the people. You can help people with music. You can help people with herbs. You can help people with incense, all this stuff. So I'm trying to do whatever I can do to help. And that's going to be another part of it. Where you get it at? Damn. See, me, the type of nigga I am, I can't even tell nobody where I get my stuff from because I don't know if you're going to be using it for the right reasons. Your intentions got to be pure with me. I had to meet somebody in person and tell them where I get my stuff from. You know, just out the simple fact you don't want to get it in the wrong hands. So if I was to tell a thousand people where I get my stuff from, you never know. Out of that a thousand, it might be somebody that intentions aren't pure. And everything is energy. Once you put that put that type of energy on your product, you know, it's bad for whoever you're selling it to. When you put pure intentions on your product, energy transfers. It never dies. So once I put my energy on my product and sell it to you, it's a, it's a big bonus to it because I'm putting pure energy on it. And plus, plus one more thing. I sit there myself and bag up everything, bro. Like, I can show y'all real fast. Like, I real deal sit here. This is where I sit. I sit right here, bro. This is where my food, this is where I'm supposed to eat food at. But I actually take the time out of my day and bag up everything that I'm doing in these bags. I bag it up. I got this. Yeah. Look, my, my fucking house look like a workplace, bro. This is what you gotta do though to make everything right. Uh, as you can see, I got my neem. I'ma start selling neem. Neem is very important. Um, I have my clove in here. I have some detox teas. I got all this stuff sitting in my house. This is what this is what y'all are getting. I'm finna show y'all the mug worth. This is the mug worth right here. So I'm real just sitting here bagging it up, making sure my energy is touched on there. Look how much mug work we got. We got so much mug work. Look, we got pounds of it. It look like I'm dealing drugs. How many, how much mug work I got? This is all mug work. I got a lot of it. And I just want to bless y'all with it, man. Like, 
Like, honestly, if y'all have insomnia, I know a lot of people, a lot of people don't be able to go to sleep, bro. If y'all have insomnia, I'm telling y'all, man, that Mugworth going to do it. Like, if people can't go to sleep, you don't you don't have to take no more prescription, prescribed drugs. Like, you can honestly come to a natural person like me. Not even a natural person. natural person is what you take. So you can come to a natural, you can be naturally healed, is what I'm trying to say. Just with the herbs, man. That, that mug worth, it relaxes your muscles, bro. You have you... You will be so relaxed, you will think you high. Like, it gives you a body relaxation, man. It's like a body high. You will be relaxed. And no, you don't smoke it. You can put it in a tea. So bad energy come, come from smoking, especially if you rolling it up in a backwood. Because first off, the that tobacco is bad for you. So, you put it in your teas. I show I made a video on how to um boil teas. I think it's on my Awaken Chopper page. I show a video how to do it. So if y'all need me to make another video on just a one-on-one -on -one or just boiling the tea, I can do that for everybody. Just let me know. Just spam it up and I'm going to do it. But bro, you boil the tea and you drink it. After you drink it, you can put whatever in your tea too with it. You can put like ginger and other vegetables and stuff like cucumber, all that stuff. You can put that inside of there with your mug worth to mix it in so you can get other benefits also. But once you bag, once you put your mug worth in there, you will see, you will see um side effects happen. Good side effects happen like about twenty minutes, bro. Like ten minutes, you will feel relaxed. It's also a stress reliever and anxiety reliever. It relieves all that. So if you have stress, anxiety, a type of insomnia, and you and you don't be able to sleep and you don't be able to remember your dreams, more work is gonna help you with that. I saw I got rosemary too. So rosemary. Oh yeah, mugwort help with your digestive system. So if you're not taking the right amount of shits, if you stopped up, mugwort will help you with that. Also, rosemary, the same shit. I got rosemary. It helps with your digestive system, and it helps with um, and it helps with um your memory. It can help. It can be used as a pain reliever. Man, it's a lot that mug that um rosemary can do also. But I love mugwort so much because this was my first little herb I had on the page. And I still got bags of it. The rosemary, I, I got, I'll show y'all the rosemary. I bagged it up. Bagged up the rosemary myself too. Look. You got it right here. Hold up. And rosemary right here, as you can see. And these, I put them in different bags. The ones that I signed, my handwriting, sign it. And I put these in here, the ones that I signed, the ones that I don't sign. And we just put the labels on. But at the end of the day, you still getting a part of me because I'm personally putting these in there myself. Look how many it is. I personally put it in there myself. My energy, me touching the herb and giving it to you, that's a part of the ingredient. This will make it even more special to me. Like y'all can buy, y'all can buy sage and incense and all this stuff from other people, but you can come get it from me. I'm actually touching my product. So it's like a part of me coming to you. And a lot of these people don't have good tensions. Once you get some of my energy, you be good. Like, I think it's like after I had sex or something. I had sex with a female, the motherfucker be smiling. I got some of chopper. <laughs> but like, I got some of chopper energy. I'm good. I got some of that vegan energy. That's how they be, bro. <laughs> I don't eat meat, none of that stuff. So it's straight, great energy coming off what I'm, what I'm touching what I'm putting my energy into. But yeah, yeah, I'm playing on um, PS5. How's Clover? Clover is good. Y'all gonna keep asking me. Clover is good. Sticks, what, Palo Santo sticks? The Palo Santo sticks, they can bring good fortune in too, spiritually. On the spiritual level, Palo Santo sticks can bring in good fortune like if you got down, you it can bring good energy into your life for real. Sage gonna sage gonna get the bad energy out your life, so it's a balance. It's if you order sage, you gotta go ahead and order the Palo Santo sticks, cause at the same time you order the sage, the um Palo sticks, you gonna remove the negative energy. The Palo Santo sticks gonna help bring it in, and then the incense, incense. All three of them is like a combo to me. You got the one that remove. 
energy. You got the one that bring the good in. And that's just two things that they do. It's a ton of things. You can look up the benefits for each thing I'm saying. But yeah, the sage bring in, I mean, removes the negative energy. Palo Santo 6 will bring it in, bring in the good energy. And the incense will help you just focus. And incense can be used as an antidepressant too. See, what the government don't tell you, they, the government control control people off your five senses. You really got more senses than five, but I'm going to just start with the five senses. The five main senses, your smell, sight, hearing, your fucking mouth, your taste, and um, what you touch, I believe, is the other sense. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> but look, all those senses, the government, that's how, that's how they control you pretty much. So... Speaking on that, what you usually smell out there? You smelling probably like a, a cologne or you're smelling a perfume or you what you looking at all day? You probably looking at social media all day or like what I'm doing right now, playing a game. Everything is controlled by your scent. So just imagine if you start to substitute things with, you know, positive stuff, good stuff, get more, get more to the earth and substitute, substitute that shit to, um, Hell with your senses, my phone playing this game. You'll be you'll be surprised on how much your life can change just off you smelling something like <laughs> from a day like like bro. If you just a uh, whiff of incense come across your nose, you'd be like, God damn, this shit smells good. You start smiling or something for real. I'm playing Call of Duty. So with that being said, bro, I'm gonna say it one more time, probably a few more times before I get off. So NLE Health and Wellness, make sure y'all place y'all orders. Got incense, incense sage, Palo Santo sticks, rosemary. Also, I still have mugworth. Sea moss gels are on the way straight from, straight from goddamn where? Is, where? Where? Where was that? Saint Lucia. It's coming straight from Saint Lucia. Not no damn swimming pool. So let me know if y'all need it. It's been to Germany, nah, I wanna go. Angie, Angie's good. My home, St. Lucia is your home? Is it real? I had this handset too, like a month now. In that Lee Health and Wellness dot com. I ain't on my journey like that, Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi had completed his journey. He was just doing extra outside of it. I'm trying to get to where Dr. Sebi was at. <laughs> no cap. I'm pretty sure the journey he was on, he had already, you know, finished. He was probably starting another damn journey how how advanced he was. But yeah, pretty much I'm on that, I'm on that same type of way. No cap. Then at the same time, herbs. Oh yeah, I forgot to say I'm getting new herbs in too. On top of the on top of the stuff I just added to the um website, and on top of me getting sea moss, I'm getting new herbs in. Also, if y'all been looking for crystals like amethyst crystals. Anything, any type of crystals to help while you meditating, any type of crystals to keep with you to attract certain energies, attract certain things. Bro, I got them on the way. I'm telling y'all, I got y'all. Need little crystals and stuff, I got you. So it's a lot coming. And that's just for my on my website standpoint. Not to not to mention all the stuff I'm gonna be doing, you know, outside of the website. Once the website get going good, I might even open up a store, like little stores and shit. I got a food truck coming. My boy Bill be having a YouTube awakening, chopper jumping. Shit, twenty twenty one starting off beautiful. Too beautiful. Too beautiful, man. What made you want to start selling herbs? Okay, this is what made me want to start selling herbs. Just like 
like people sell the popular herb marijuana, I want people to know that that's just not the way. Cause first off, marijuana is illegal. You can sell you can sell a different herb that's legal, and it's not even about the money. But you can make money off a of herb that's legal instead of selling an illegal herb that's getting a lot of people locked up, even though they legalizing it everywhere. But that's only because they tampering with it and using it as another way to control mainly the melanin people because we down there mainly the ones that smoke weed. It's a lot of it's a lot of white people that smoke. It's a lot of Asians that smoke. But I feel like the melanin race smokes it the most. And plus the way we smoke it too also, like the type of... The type of um what we're rolling it up in, like it's control and people and people notice that and it's always been a war against the melanin. Our skin is worth way more than anything on this planet, more than gold, all that. So it's always been a war with our skin. So it's just another way to control us. So so I just wanted to teach the people that shit. You can sell other herbs and use them and actually have a positive benefit on the world. But a lot of people ain't gonna get it like that because shit, their intentions ain't that pure. Their intentions are not pure, man. I'm playing Call of Duty. My favorite rapper friend, I had to say a little dirt. Show the guns. I ain't showing no guns. Big fan from the career Caribbeans. I support you. How are you, Bryson? I'm good. I'm blessed. Thanks for checking on me. The first comment I read that. Do you miss Vaughn? Of course. Tell us a funny story. Oh, I don't even know, bro. My my whole life be funny as hell. You had to be with me, really. How you supposed to use the herbs? You can use them as teas. So pretty much, I'm gonna show y'all just a quick sum up of how I use my herbs. Just ignore all this extra stuff on the on the on the pot. But look, you put your herbs inside here. Ignore this. Ignore this. It look kind of nasty. Look moldy. Yeah, I got to fix that shit. But anyway, put the herbs inside of like a, a glass jar like this. Put water inside the pot right here. Turn this up right here. Let it brew and just let it sit there and boil. It's like cooking crack. <laughs> like cooking coke, crack cocaine, whatever you want to call it, bro. So if you, I know all the trappers can relate. I know they'll do this easy. So you put the herbs in there. You can put your ginger in there. You can put burdock root. You can put vegetables. You can put cucumbers. You can put, you can put goddamn um shit. What else? You can put sea moss in there. You can do all this. You put it in here. Boom. Put some water right in there. Boom. Turn it up. Let it boil on a hot temperature. And you just leave it here and let it simmer for like 30 minutes to 30, 30 to 40 minutes. Boom, take it off, it's hot, stir it up, stir it up, put some agave syrup in there if you want to. Agave syrup, organic raw blue agave. Stick the agave in there, sweeten it up just a little bit. You don't need, you don't need too much agave. You just need a little bit because you still want it to be strong and hit your chest so we can do what he gotta do, you heard? So, do you put the agave in there? You free to drink it, but make sure it's just not too much. Just make sure it's just a little bit to where. You don't have to be like, oh, it's nasty. Or you can put a, you can put you can put as much in there to where it's sweet. It's still gonna have the same benefit. But me personally, I like to have it with a little kick to it, so I know for sure that it's working. You know. What's the food truck called? The food truck is gonna be called. This can't be vegan. Also, it's gonna sell. It's gonna sell vegan and. Regular food, just for the people that ain't switched over yet. But I promise you, once they taste the vegan food, a lot of people going to switch how they eat. Because they're going to be like, damn, this shit ain't bad. A lot of people, when they think of vegan food, they think it's just straight vegetables or straight, or straight just, you know, just straight shit that ain't going to be good, pretty much. But that's how I was when I was first thinking about it. Like, damn, vegan, how I'm going to do this shit straight? 
straight salad and shit. You know, it ain't that. You got an alternate for everything you make. Like, so chicken, you got cauliflower. Um, For burgers, you can use mushrooms. You can use beans and corn, mash it together, season it, put that shit on the grill and cook it, and some sesame oil or whatever you want to cook it in. Gee, that shit going to taste just like a burger, bro, on my life. You got mushrooms. You can use um, portobello. Portobello. What they call it? Portobello. Portobello. No, porta. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Them mushrooms. You can season them. Put it on a motherfucking um grill, and you can cook them like a steak, and they come out and they taste just like a steak. Like if you put the gravy on that type of gravy, you want to make all that shit. So it's an alternate for everything. That's why vegan food is actually. <laughs> It's actually hitting up. And also, you can eat as much of it you want to eat because it's going to shit right out of you. <laughs> it ain't no stoppage. It ain't no nothing that's going to have your um your stomach, your stomach, um you know, tripping. I don't even think, I sometimes think. We